Hey, good morning. It's Mike Shunky with Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Shifton Properties in Scottsdale. Whew, it's humid. Uh, we are on the upper side of Ankawa. Uh, Friday morning, run, walk. I got a coming soon here that uh, I think is a good deal. Uh, check it out. Uh, it's five bedroom. Uh, five and a half bath, 4,600 square feet. There's my wife and puppy. Uh, super cool. I know it's, it doesn't look like much a uh, regular neighborhood, but it's, uh, the backyard's awesome. Right up against the hill here. Uh, it's one point, one point eight, what was it? 1.85 uh, million. Which sounds like a lot, you know, we throw around $100,000 here and there. Yeah, right. Uh, but it's $420, $425 a square foot. That's good for this neighborhood. Uh, we just sold one, the other block over. Uh, similar house just sold for $529 a square foot. Took 80 days to close, but uh, should be able to get $500 a square foot up here in the back of the uh, community here. Um, so 1.89, 420 something a square foot. It's a good deal. It's uh, not as good as the one down the hill. Sitting for 1.6 million. That one's not my listing. That's a fabulous, it's only 3,200 square foot but it's on the golf course, views the camelback. Uh, hang with me a minute if you want, we're gonna go up here. Uh, yeah, so uh, market. We were seeing a lot of houses come on the market. Uh, you know, the past month or two, this week, uh, all the numbers for July came out and starting to level off, you know, it's like, I've always said this area is a lot of second homes, vacation homes, uh, a lot of wealthier clients. Uh, so the ones who needed to sell, they jumped out. Starting to slow down a little bit uh, with new listings coming on. Um, you'll see the headlines. I have to bite my tongue a little bit about the media. You know how I feel about that. Uh, yes, number of transactions is slowing down. Again, we say it all the time. Prices are not. We're heading into a balanced market. Hey, let's go up to that one. See what that looks like. Let's check this out. So this one, they've been working on a while. It's kind of small. It's uh, interesting. Uh, but then there's another one. They're building up the hill there. But look at Camelback. This is a vacant lot. We'll have to see. This one, I'm sure, is. I'm sure we could get pick that up. But yeah, starting to get to a balanced market. And as I said before, the uh, desirable areas are holding their value. The whole valley, I think, prices dropped like 17 percent, maybe. Uh, this area of Scottsdale. Prices came down 4% and they're leveling off and average days on market is 25. You know, if you're not cash, that's about as quick as you can do it with getting a mortgage. Mortgage rates have come down a little bit. Personally, I think they're gonna go up again. The Fed just has too much on its balance sheet, but you never know. Anyway, I don't think, I think prices are pretty stable now. If you asked me a year ago, I would have said, hang on, but I think now is the time to jump on it. If you're looking, we're seeing houses close, you know, a million and a half thousand, $1.5 million house is closing a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars $200,000 under asking price. So uh, they're becoming, uh, sellers are getting a little more reasonable. If they got to sell, they got to sell. Look at this. I wonder, I would like to go up there, but... I won't. That's gonna be sweet. 
the view of the valley. Uh, yeah, so uh, the market's balancing out. When you're in a balanced market, houses still appreciate. You'll see the headline news will say, uh, real estate market recession. Well, when you're in a balanced market, houses rise at inflation. So you still get 8.5% on uh, return on your investment, generally. You know, the past two years, throw those out. 20, 30, 40% return, it doesn't happen. That's anom an anomaly, an what's the word? Anomaly? But uh, yeah, that doesn't happen. You know, if you can get eight to 10%, that's pretty good on your money. I don't know where else, you know, I say uh, there's a whole generation of investors that has never been through a downturn. They're going to get a lesson here pretty soon, I think. Uh, but housing's solid. People got to live somewhere. There's 260 people a day move into the valley. And uh, I don't like me. Look at this. This is the back road up along the back of the uh, neighborhood. It's coming in down by Talius and West off of Frank Lloyd Wright. Let's see if we can zoom in here. There's Camelback. It's raining over there. A rare cloudy day in Scottsdale but yeah and you know what uh, the commercial markets crazy uh, they're building that chip plant out by uh, off the 303 and I-17 it's the largest funded project in the world right now and uh, industrial property out there is insane it's 200 square foot it's it's insane, uh, but it is what it is. You know, there's lots of permits. I think there was 786 permits in a certain area up there, uh, building everything up there. Hey, do you want to turn around? It's my boss, Bonnie. I don't. If we go down that hill, then we have to come back up. <laughs> Which is a good workout. I think this one sold about six months ago for, what was it, 3.8? Yeah, right? And it sold quick. Uh, here. That was our friend Tutsumi. She's, uh, she's funny. She's super cool. This lot's for sale. I don't remember how much. Too much. I think it's like 900,000. Uh, but you get that view. So anyway, I'm just rambling on now. Um, if we can help you buy or sell commercial, you know, like I, we do more of a private client uh, service. Uh, you know, our typical clients coming, small business owner coming from California. You want a house, you want a building for your business, and you want some an investment property. That's, that's what we do. Uh, a little bit of everything. Um, more of an advisor, I guess you would call it. Uh, yeah. My wife, Bonnie, she'll tell you that I'm the first one to talk you out of buying a house. <laughs> but, oh, this uh, builder's showing up here. Maybe we'll uh, go up and check it out. It's right there. All right. Well, you have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be smart. Be safe. If we can do anything for you, let us know. We got a pretty busy day. We got to check out some properties later, but uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.